Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make my little rainbow and cloud. Now these are two pieces that we actually join together and as you can see I've just got these three little bands joining them together. So we're going to start firstly with our little rainbow and it's going to be a hook only design. Both of them are going to be made just on the hook but we are going to use our loom just to do the magic ring to get us started. Now, the colours that I'm going to use are purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red and white. Okay, so let's get started with our loom facing away from us, so the open part of the peg is facing away from us, I'm going to take a single purple band and I'm going to wrap it around my peg twice. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, if you have a look here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six little stitches to go into our first section here. So I'm going to take six bands and we'll pop our hook through and we're going to make a magic ring. So drag your first band through and tie in a slip knot. And then you're going to do the same with the second band and tie in a slip knot and then you're going to join them together like that. Budge them around your peg and pull through, slip knot, join together. Budge around, push back through. Now if you haven't done my video on beginner's guide to Lumagurumi, please do so because otherwise this is going to appear like gibberish to you. Pull through, slip knot, join together and our last one push through slip knot and join together and you can take that off your loom now normally we then spread these out to make them a circle rather than a semicircle we're not going to do that today we're going to leave it as a little semicircle now what we're going to do is take our hook out. So pinch this with your fingers, take your hook out and push it through the other side. Now the trick to doing this is that we are still going to be counting this stitch, this first one here, as our first stitch. Okay, if you can see it, this first one here. I'm going to move my camera just a little bit so that I'm not out of your range. So this is where our hook is this is our first stitch and this is where we're going to push our hook through you're going to take a single purple drag it through and reclaim and do a slip knot like that and then join these two together one over the other okay you're going to go back through and do another little single crochet in that same stitch again one over the other and join them together and then in this second stitch we're going to do the same thing two single crochets in this stitch there's number one join it together back through number two this is our third stitch let's do the same again there's number one and number two back here number one number two and in our last stitch we'll do two here as well number one and number two take your hook out turn it around and we're going to go back the other way but this time we're going to use blue bands for our next round so you're going to push your hook through that first stitch and then with a blue band pull it through one over the other and join and then in the second stitch we're going to do an increase so one and then back through and the pattern for this round is 
a single crochet followed by an increase so that was our single crochet here's our increase now we do a single crochet and in this next stitch an increase which is two single crochets in the same stitch a single crochet and an increase in the next one single crochet and an increase in the next one and a single crochet oops like so take your take your hook out pinch this and put it through the other way we're now turning to go back around this way now we're going to use green bands again you're going through this first stitch right here single crochet and then we do another single crochet and an increase so the pattern for this round is two single crochets and an increase so now we do a single crochet single crochet and an increase single crochet and in this stitch will be our increase single crochet single crochet and and the last one will be an increase. Whoops. Take your hook out, pinch it first, take it out, move it the other way, turn it round. Now we're going to do yellow. Again, make sure you go through that first stitch here. We're going to do a single crochet, a single crochet, a third single crochet, and then our increase. Now we do three single crochets. An increase single crochet single crochet and an increase single crochet single crochet our third single crochet and an increase pinch hook out go through the other way, turn it around. 
we're going to do orange go through that first stitch now we do four single crochets and an increase so number one two three four and an increase One, oops, two, three, four, and an increase. One, two, three, four, and an increase. One, two, and oops, three. Now, if you have a look at this, this is where we uh, turned up. So I'm going to do another one in here, in the green, because when we flip it over, that one comes up the top. So I'm going to do a little single here, like that. Pinch. Now we're going to do red. Through that first stitch. We're going to do five and an increase. One, two, three, four. Five and an increase back to that same stitch. One, two, three. Five and an increase. One, two, three. Five is my increase. One, two, three, and again, I'm going through that yellow. Oopsie. <laughs> Four. Now, that's our little rainbow. I'm going to do a little push my hook here through this yellow band at the bottom and take a red. 
and I'm just going to pull it through all of those and tie off in a slip knot right here and then I'm going to hide that tie off band under some of these red bands here just under here like that just so you can't see it okay like that so that is our little rainbow and uh, now what we're going to do is make the little cloud to go with it so now I thought we'd do the little cloud to go with our rainbow and we're going to start off with a white band wrap it around your hook once twice and three times and we're going to chain 16 so you put your band on the end of your hook and you slide the little end cap over and reclaim and that's number one and then you put another one on the end of your hook slide over that's number two we're going to do this 16 times three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now I'm going to zoom my camera in a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing closer we're going to take this side of the loop up and over so you have just one loop on your hook you're going to skip this first band this and it's called a chain and you're going to come down to this one here this second one here and put your hook through it like that you're going to take a single band put it on the end of your finger pull it through and you're going to join this little loop that you have on your hook onto it I'm telling you fibs you're not you're going to just leave it like that okay so you've got one little chain and you're going to join those two three loops together with a single band like that now we're going to go through the same chain this one here that we went through and this is actually chain number 14 we did 16 and that's uh, number 14 take another single band and do a chain now we're going to join three of these loops together okay so let's take a single band and we're going to join the first two loops of that first band and then this one loop of the band that we already had on there join those three together like that and then you have three here we're going to join those three together as well with another band like that now we're going to move into stitch 13 put your hook through you're going to take a single band and pull it through and you're going to marry it up with this one that's here and then you've got three on your hook here like that take another single band and join them together we're going back into that same 13 here and we're going to take a single band and we're going to pull through all of them and reclaim and you're going to do a slip stitch like that okay now we're going into this next one here take a single band pull it through and you have three on your hook now we're going to join this one in like that all right you're going back into that stitch and you're going to take another band and pull it through and you're going to add that closest one from the first band sometimes you might need to use your fingers to do it just that first one up and over like that and then you've got three on your hook 
join them together with another band. We're going into number 12, stitch number 12. You're going to take a single band, pull it through and reclaim. And with another single band, you're going to go through those two and one from the other. And then we're going to join these three together with a single band. Go back into number 12, single band, pull it through, single band, pull it through three of the loops and reclaim and then we join these three loops together. We're going into number 11, stitch number 11, single band, pull it through. Now at this stage we're wanting to join these together okay to make it come down so add that one to the loop like that and join these three together back through number 11 and we're going to do a slip stitch which is through all of those loops all four of them and slip stitch like that see how we're making these sort of little waves so now we're going into number 10 take a single band and pull it through and you're going to add this loop to it like that okay now we're going back into number 10 take a single pull it through now I'm going to sorry don't reclaim remember we're going to add this one to it as well just that one loop over and above like that now we claim and now we join them together into number nine single band pull it through take another single band and pull it through three of the loops and reclaim and now you've got three loops there again pull it through going back into number nine let's do that again there's our first one grab our second and we join these three together now we're going to start coming down so we're going into the next this is number eight single band pull it through add this one to it and reclaim and join the three together back into eight and let's do a slip stitch so through all four reclaim and loop all right so we're forming our little frill we're going to go into number seven pull through and add that loop to it like that back into seven with a single band pull through and we're going to add this first one over like that and join and then take a single band and join them together back into seven do we go back in seven I think we're going into six single band and another single band pull it through and add one from that loop and reclaim and then join these together we're going back into this spot again single band another single band only take three of the loops and let's join these three again we're going into five and we're going to start reducing so pull it through and add that side to it as well and reclaim and then join them together back into five we're doing a slip stitch pull through all four reclaim and there's our slip stitch now we're going into three pull through all of them and reclaim back through three single band pull through and remember we're going to add this one to it so 
lift it up and over and reclaim go into two I'm sorry we need to join them together there we go join them together into two pull through a single pull through another single and go through three of the loops and reclaim join these together back through three or is that two? two pull through a single chain another single and join the three and join these in we're going back into one now we haven't been in one yet pull through and add that single loop to it and reclaim and join together now one of the things you'll notice is I have my end cap here and it's kind of in the way but I'm going to go through it's it's still stitch number one I'm going to go through stitch number one and I'm going to do my slip stitch I'm going to pull that end cap out of the way there's my slip stitch like that now I can actually cut this off because my slip stitch is holding my uh, my chain together I don't need that end cap anymore and it just is a bit bulky and gets in the way so I'm going to get rid of that and there my slip stitch is holding I'm going to go through now I've I've now sort of turned it so I'm going around the other way okay I'm going to go through here and with a single oops let's get my bands out of the way pull through and include that one and reclaim back through that one whoops make sure I just go through those two loops single pulled through and then add this one to it oops there we go and join these together and we're going to now go into this next stitch here pull through pull through again and go through three of the loops and join back through here single stitch single chain I should say pull through three and we join now you kind of don't want it to be so even that you sort of sit here and and they're uh, you know like a, a bubble you kind of want it to be a little bit over which this one is which is a good thing because clouds are a bit like that so what we're going to do is go into this one here and reduce down pull through reduce down join them together the three and I'm going to do, I'm going to not do my slip stitch in there, I'm going to do my slip stitch in this one, the next one to it. If I can get a single band, pull through all four, join, and there's my slip stitch. And that sort of makes it so that it's not as uniform, I, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Let's go through the next stitch, pull through and add that to it. And reclaim go through that stitch again single band pull through add this one to it up and over and let's join those three stitches we're going to go into this same one single band single band and go through three and join we'll go into the next stitch here it is gets a little bit there's one and there's a second and join we're going into that stitch again pull through and add that loop reclaim and pull through. We're going to do a slip stitch here to join them. And 
and up and over. Okay, so this is how we're making our little fluffy cloud. So let's keep going. We're going into the next stitch, which is here. Single band, pull through and join that one in and reclaim. Back through that same stitch, pull single through and you add that one side up and over if I can. <laughs> there we go. Reclaim and join. Next stitch, pull through, let's go through, pull through a single. We're going to get another single and go through three and reclaim and join. Go back through that same stitch. Pull a single through and another. Go through three and we're going to join in the next stitch. Pull a single through add that one loop and reclaim and join and then we're going to do a slip stitch in that same stitch pull all the way through all four of them and do a little slip stitch there so now we'll go into this next one here single Come here, <laughs> pull through, add that one to it, reclaim, go through again, pull through, I'm sorry I shouldn't reclaim, I want to pull this one up and over and add, join that together into this next stitch, a single another single and I'm going to join that third one in join together back through that same stitch single join three together and join now I'm nearly at the end here okay in this stitch I'm doing a single Pulling through that third one and joining. I'm going to do a slip stitch in here so it's through all of them and I'm just going to tie off, I've, I've done my slip stitch, I'm going to go through this stitch here with a white and again do a slip stitch and I'm going to tie off in a little knot. Okay, now this is my little cloud <laughs> and I'm going to hide my tie-off band under some of these little white bands here. Pull them through, oops, come back here. There we go, hide that. Now, all I did for attaching this was I just wanted to make sure that you could still see the purple and I wanted to have one band either side and a band in the middle to loop them together and obviously you don't have to do you don't have to loop them together but I'm just you could use clear bands if you didn't want to see them um, literally just go through pull and you're going to just find a spot on your cloud and join them. So I'm going to go through all the little spots that I want to add this to. So I'm going to do one here and I'm going to do my third one over on a red here like that. These will be facing the cloud so what I need to do, I'm probably going to start, I think, in the middle here. I'm going to grab one side. There's my, my band here. I'm going to grab a couple of loops on my cloud, pull through in a slip knot, 
nice and tight. That's all you're going to do. And again, on this side, find a spot that looks a good, good spot. Grab a couple of bands. That looks good to me. Grab one end of your tie-off band. Hey, come here, you. <laughs> I'm trying to do this so I don't get out of camera. One over the other and pull into a slip knot and then do the same on the other side. Pull into a slip knot. So on this side you have and I've probably done that one a little bit lower down on my um, on my rainbow. You can do it a little bit higher, like I did with this one, or you can do it lower. It really, really doesn't matter. You can even sort of angle this up a little bit, should you choose to, with another tie-off band, or you can use. I suppose you can even use this one, couldn't you? Um, go just go through another little spot. On your cloud and link it in if you if you want to it's completely up to you um, how you want to do that tie off on the back here you can attach it as um to a mobile um, in, in for a kids room Hide your tie-off band under some of these loops at the back here. You want to make sure it is hidden, you don't want it obvious. So hide these under like that. You can have it as a key ring. Um, again, let's hide these. And the placement is completely up to you of your little cloud, and you don't have to have a cloud. I mean that's the other thing is is um, if you don't want a cloud at the end of your rainbow you don't have to. You can angle that one up here if you choose. I don't think I can really stretch that one up there, so I won't. I won't try. I will just hide this. Um, yes, you can use it as a keyring, um, a mobile for for a child's room. Um, anything really but there we go there is a little rainbow with a cloud pot of gold at the bottom and we'll be fine <laughs> hope you enjoyed making take care bye bye